Hey everybody, TYT Sports, Ben Mankiewicz and Francis Maxwell. Uh, the World Cup, the first game is on June 12th, it's Brazil and Croatia, but uh, the, the tournament will be kicked off not by a player from either of those teams, yeah. but by really something that has the potential, uh, I think, to stun people and a absolutely. potential to change lives, right? Yeah, absolutely. Um, for this day, it's something that I just think is a touch of class. Yeah. Absolutely. I stroke a genius, um, technically, but it's thanks to uh, neuroengineering and um, headed by Duke University, um, a teen who is paralyzed from the waist down is going to be like put together with an exoskeleton um, to try and kick the ball off, so it's able to do something that um, has never yeah. been done before. So we have we have we have, we have a video. This is called yeah. the it's from the Walk Again the project. The Walk Again project at, at, at Duke. Check it out. At the World Cup in June, they're going to wheel a person out, a disabled person out, onto the field. He's going to rise out of his wheelchair and walk out and kick the first ball. This is the first exoskeleton that is getting feedback from the volunteer, is more integrated into the uh, device and learning how to control the device uh, through non-invasive signals, but more importantly through providing feedback about their world as they're uh, learning how to re-walk or learning again to walk uh, inside the exoskeleton. The team consists of a lab in France who has built the, an exoskeleton a, a basically an outside rigid frame that will, the person will wear, the patient will wear. Other teams are doing the neuroscience aspects of it. Um, other teams are doing electrodes and the circuitry uh, and the feedback mechanisms. Looking good, man. And we were asked to build the helmet. I, I so, you know, look, you can, it's really, it, I mean, I mean, if that's, that's amazing. And, it is. Uh, let me, uh, let me just, this is from Duke University, just because there's some other people involved on it. It's yeah. worth mentioning them quickly. It's nonprofit international collaboration among the Duke University Center for Neuroengineering, which we mentioned, also the Technical University of Munich, the Swiss Federal Institute of Technology, the uh, Edmund and Lily Soffer International Institute of Neuroscience, that's in uh, Brazil, uh, UC Davis, University of Kentucky, and uh, Regis Copper of the uh, Duke Immersive Virtual Environment. And you, you saw a little bit of that in the video, but I mean, that's a, you know, it, uh, to see changes like, the potential for changes like that in our lifetime, it's amazing, and it's my a great way to off, kick off the tournament. Yeah, yeah, my hat comes off to everyone involved in this, uh, this project. It's, we can sit, like, I'm got, bear with me, I'm gonna get all sensitive on you, but we can sit and we can argue about teams and players and have people comment and get into arguments about who's gonna win the competition, but at the end of the day, most of us have the ability to go and play the game, play the beautiful game and to do these things that we, that we love to watch. And but for some people, that's not a possibility. So for this organization to put together something to give one lucky team this chance is just mind blowing to me. And it's, uh, as I said, it's a real touch of class, I think, in this competition. It's never been done before in, in the world. And the, the end product of this is to try and get people to actually be able to walk again. Disabled people, that is what they've, they've come out and said it. They, uh, the end goal is to try and have um, those who are disabled the chance to walk again. And, it's something that I lose sight of sometimes when I'm, when I'm sitting and I'm arguing with people about the competition and about what goes on in the beautiful game. But I can just go out and kick a ball and, uh, and that's like my home of getting away from everything and some people can't do that. So I think this is, it's phenomenal to see it happen and um, it's, going to be, it's going to be an extraordinary event. That's uh, June 12th before the first game, Brazil and Croatia in the World Cup.